right now, jury selection is underway as it's at the trial of Chandler, Chandler Halderson begins this week. And another step forward in the fight against COVID after the FDA approves the Pfizer booster for young teens. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. The FDA has approved the Pfizer vaccine boosters for young teens ages 12 to 15. Wendy Gillette has the latest. With millions of children heading back to class today, many of them may soon have some extra protection against COVID-19. The FDA has authorized Pfizer vaccine boosters for kids ages 12 to 15, five months after their last dose. The CDC still needs to sign off on the plan. Across the nation, the number of new cases reported hit an all-time high last week, nearly half a million in one day. Omicron will spread. We're going to peak over the next several weeks, particularly in areas that had an early onset of Omicron, and then it'll go down afterwards. The latest surge has some educators and parents questioning whether schools can open safely, but New York City and other big city school districts are bringing students back today. I know there's questions about staffing. I know there's questions about testing. There's a lot of questions, but we're going to turn those question marks into an exclamation point. We're staying open. To keep schools open, many districts are sharply increasing the number of students tested each week. In Florida, where positive COVID cases soared past 40,000 per day last week, the governor addressed the spike. In Florida, particularly South Florida, we do believe it's overwhelmingly Omicron infections that are incurring, but Delta is still there, and most of the people that get really seriously ill are, are still being infected with, with the Delta variant. Health experts continue to urge mitigations strategies to control COVID, like mask wearing, social distancing, and vaccines. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York. On Sunday, Dr. Anthony Fauci said the CDC faced some backlash for its latest COVID isolation guidelines. The new guidelines do not require a negative COVID test for someone to exit a five-day isolation period. Dr. Fauci says the agency may consider adding a testing requirement. Let's head to the Weather Center now. Meteorologist Austin, Ka Austin Kamnitsky has a look at your certified most accurate forecast of chilly starts of the day. Oh boy, was it early this morning, but now we really have seen a decent recovery. Temperature is now at 17 degrees outside. We're going to reach the upper teens and low 20s, so we're really not going to see too much additional warmth for today. And even though it's 17 degrees outside, well, it still feels like it's just about four, thanks to a south-southwesterly breeze of about 11 miles per hour. Now, the Doppler track does look great. If you've noticed outside, there's a lot of sunshine, and that's going to be here pretty much to stay for much of the rest of today. A few clouds are going to be possible here later on in the afternoon, but we're still generally looking at quite a bit of some sunshine. These temperatures still cooler than average by about 10 degrees or so. We still should be reaching the upper 20s, and we are just not looking at that here for today or for a lot of the forecast. But our wind speeds between around 5 and 15 miles per hour, likely where they're going to stay for the rest of the day, but it's really bringing down the wind chills. Look at Monroe down at the bottom of your screen. It feels like it's four below right now, but this afternoon staying mostly sunny, that high of 20 degrees, and we're going to start to see a little bit of additional warmth before that next cool down with the snow no chance. So I'll have all the updates that we need to know coming up a little bit later on. All right, also, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. 17's not bad. Kind of balmy out there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Beloit School District canceled classes today because of a bus driver shortage. According to a release from the district officials, there's a staff shortage at Durham Bussing. The release says all staff is still expected to report to work. It's unclear if the shortage will be resolved by tomorrow morning. Madison schools are giving you the opportunity to get your COVID-19 booster this week. Right now, there are dozens of appointments left at their vaccine clinic at Lincoln Elementary School. The clinic runs from 1.30 to 5.30 tomorrow. The school will be giving out the Pfizer booster to anyone 16 years or older who's already been vaccinated. There's also appointments available at Kennedy Elementary School next Tuesday from 3 to 7 p.m. You can find out more by going to the MMSD website, which you can see right there on your screen. Jury selection has begun in the Chandler Halderson trial. Halderson accused of killing his parents, Bart and Krista Halderson. He was arrested in July after providing false information to police when he reported his parents missing. The judge began this morning by asking the jury pool if they had any health concerns that would prevent them from serving in the, on the jury. With all of what I've been saying, is there anyone in the pool here, in the box, who believes they cannot reasonably and safely 
participate with us here today, who has a concern regarding health issues that they believe we need to know and to see if we can accommodate. If so, just raise your hand at this time. A few people were excused this morning. Jury selection expected to take most of the day. We have an interactive timeline on the Halderson investigation right now on our website, channel3000.com slash Chandler Halderson trial. We'll also be streaming the entire trial once it begins and have the latest developments on News 3 Now. New at noon, New York's Attorney General has issued subpoenas for former President Donald Trump, Donald Trump Jr., and Ivanka Trump. The subpoenas are connected to an ongoing civil investigation into the family's business practices. The court filing is seeking testimony and documents from the former president and his children in connection with the investigation into the valuation of properties owned or controlled by the Trump Organization. Well, tonight's your last chance to see this year's holiday lights in Olin Park. The lights were installed in early November. The show is free to drive through thanks to several sponsors, but donations are welcome. The lights will turn off tonight at 1030. And there's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. Wall Street kicks off the new year and trade in a return to the office for a retreat to the open road. I'm Naomi Ruckham at the CBS Broadcast Center. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow. Is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model, his name is Richie, and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. This new year, in just 10 minutes, you'll look incredible. This is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. It's a cream, it's a topical, it literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out. All you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes, on your fine lines and wrinkles, and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical. I am not going to lie because I saw people online with it. And I'm like, yeah, right. That can't possibly work. I'm telling you it really works. I thought I might see a little difference but to see that big of a difference and you know I felt something happening but I had no idea like I have so many dark circles I have the puffiness I have the lines like it's amazing I love it. <laughs> I did this to my father at home because I was skeptical. Yes, I admit it. Four minutes, 34 seconds. The appearance of his under eye bag was completely gone. We were screaming, you have an event. You have any of those moments where you want to feel the best about yourself. I am telling you, the videos that you see on social media and TV are real. This new year is the best time to get Plexiderm for only $14.95 and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. Habitat homes are built and bought by the hardworking families that live in them. Through affordable mortgages backed by your donations, Habitat Dane County offers a chance for these families to invest in their future and their community. Please donate or volunteer today. Plug their defenses. Sir, yes, sir. Charge! Combat leaves debris and damage to your home and property. Uh all year round with a solution you can get and forget. LeafGuard is the only gutter system guaranteed never to clog, whatever the weather. Call 1-833-LEAFGUARD today for a free in-home estimate and get a $50 gift card. Defend your gutters from clogs forever with LeafGuard. Call 1-833-LEAFGUARD today. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in television. seesawed in early trading to kick off its first day of the new year, but investors enter 2022 with an eye on several market moving factors, including surging COVID cases, high inflation, and the Fed's plan to raise interest rates starting in the spring. 
The State Department is warning American travelers to make contingency plans and get traveler's insurance if they're heading abroad. With COVID cases rising, the department wants U.S. citizens to be financially prepared to stay in a foreign country longer than planned. Traveler's insurance should include both cancellation and medical benefits. Tesla is starting the new year with a positive report. The electric vehicle company said it delivered a record 936,000 vehicles last year. That's up 87% compared to 2020. The majority of vehicles delivered in the final quarter were the Model 3 sedan and the Model Y hatchback. And looking for a new gig so you don't have to return to the office? Why not hit the open road? Car rental site Discover Cars is looking for a road trip tester to try out some new wheels and give an honest review. The new team member gets a car of their choosing to drive for three days, plus about $800 to spend on anything from hotels and entertainment to road trip snacks. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Naomi Ruckham. Naomi, thank you. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 71 points. The NASDAQ up 102. The S&P 500 up 10 and a half. Up next at noon, we'll share your latest egg numbers and a new recipe from Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Plus, we'll check back with Austin for your full forecast. Stay with us. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. So this New Year's, if you have yellowing between your teeth or coffee stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And each five minute application, you'll see wider teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes or an hour and start using the Power Swabs 5-Minute Solution. Just snap, swab, and smile. After just seven days, the results were awesome. Power Swabs was easy to use every day, and each day I could see it better and better, and from beginning to end, it's definitely whiter. Uh, and they look clean, they feel clean, um, and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. This new year, order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. Get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit Visit powerswabs.com today. Tomorrow, we are taking time for kids, talking about their mental health during the pandemic. We'll share when it's time to seek help for your kids. And we have a colder than average forecast expected. We'll see you from 430 to 7 on News 3 Now this morning. News 3 Now's call for action has settled hundreds of area consumer disputes, but we can't do it without our dedicated team of volunteers. Would you like to join us? Contact Call for Action by phone or visit channel3000.com to fill out an application now. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report will be back with us tomorrow, so here are your farm numbers.
Austin is here now with a slightly warmer forecast. <laughs> slightly. It's all relative at this point. <laughs> it really is. I mean, right now, compared to early this morning, it feels like a whole different climate outside. And we've only really gained about 15 degrees. But the sunshine really does help a lot outside. Now, a few things of note. We are looking at another very cold day today. Not as cold for tomorrow as we do look to see temperatures bouncing back up into the lower 30s. But a few snow showers on Tuesday night and into Wednesday, that'll really help to drive down those temperatures afterwards as well. So we're really not looking at near and above average temperatures. We're going to be near average at times, but generally well below average for the next seven to 10 days. Doppler track currently looks great. Again, there's really just nothing happening. A lot of sunshine temperatures looking to reach again those upper teens and low 20s. So right now it's about 17 degrees outside of Madison. We're not going to see too much additional warmth from where we're at now, but a southerly breeze is going to continue to help to drive up these temperatures for tomorrow. Highs are expected to reach the upper 20s and low 30s, so a little bit milder, very close to average, but after the last few days, it's actually going to feel quite nice. And then jumping into Tuesday night and into Wednesday as well, a few flurries or lighter snow showers looking possible in terms of accumulation. Maybe a few dustings here and there, but that's really just about all we're looking at right now. This is mainly going to be a northern system. The future track really keeping a lot of this snow up in northern Wisconsin and even farther to the north. So we're just going to get the scraps here in southern Wisconsin. A few flurries, a lighter snow shower here and there, maybe an isolated dusting. That could lead to a few slick spots here and there. So we do need to still watch out on Wednesday, but for the most part, it is not going to be a major system. Next thing, in fact, that we're watching out for is going to be an alert day on Thursday. Thursday night into Friday. By the time we reach Friday morning, temperatures are going to be about 5 to 10 degrees below zero. Wind chills about 20 degrees below zero. And by the afternoon, not much relief there. On Friday, we're looking at about 5 to 10 degrees. Wind chills likely going to stay right around zero or even below throughout the entirety of the day. But our current temperatures, however, we're looking at about 17 here in Madison. Also Lone Rock at 17, much of the same in Viroqua. A lot of our communities are in those teens right now, but Camp Douglas bouncing up to about 21. Wind speeds also increased since this morning. We did have quite a few calm locations, but that's not the case anymore. About 5 to 15 miles per hour is what we're looking at, and that's really bringing down the wind chills again. Feels like it's just about 4 here in Madison, 2 below in Monroe, 2 below in Platteville as well. Prairie du Chien feels like it's about 11 degrees right now. So the wind chills, that's what it feels like whenever you do go outside, and your extended forecast doesn't show a ton of relief. I wish I did have better news overall here for you. Wednesday, not looking like a big snow event, but still a few flowers. Flurries or lighter snow showers are possible. That'll drive down temperatures. Friday's high right now, 9 degrees. Hopefully we can see that increasing a little bit later on in the forecast. But for right now, we are looking cold for the next 7 to 10 days. Opened the door this morning. One dog went out. The other one stopped. Oof, that I'm sounds not, about right. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I was the second dog. After you. <laughs> All right, Austin, thank you. Up next, let's head over to the Mr. Food Test Kitchen where Howard says he has a trendy new breakfast that's taking the world by storm. If you're like many Americans, this time of year you're looking for ways to eat better, feel better, and lose weight. So, with that in mind, I want to introduce you to something that we recently came across that we thought was worth sharing. It's called Overnight Oats, and it goes together like this. Now, rather than cooking our oatmeal, we simply place our dry oats in a bowl, along with some milk, a few add-ins and spices, and let it sit in the fridge overnight. And when it comes to options, there are no limits. Look how easy it is to create carrot cake oatmeal, which is simply some oats mixed with grated carrots, raisins, a few spices, almond milk, maple syrup, and a splash of vanilla. How easy is that? If you love peanut butter and bananas, then you'll love how we team them with our oats. If strawberry shortcake is one of your favorites, then you'll love waking up to a bowl of oatmeal that tastes just like it. To get all of these quick and easy favorites, all you have to do is go to our website and look for the recipe of the day, which includes carrot cake overnight oats, the peanut butter banana oatmeal, and our chilled strawberry shortcake oatmeal bowl. Let me tell you, this is really good. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a healthy and easy way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. 
Mm. All right, Howard, thank you. Up next, Linda Barge from the Bruce Company is answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call 608-270-9933. Calls for Linda coming up right after this. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This is Connie Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassion and care in your time of need. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Guys, if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, Peak Performance for Men has a natural solution that can help you today. That's right. Stop wasting money on pills and inferior technology that hurts and just masks your ED. Fix it for good. The best part? Our ED treatment is non-invasive, painless, and you can get back to your natural functionability after just a few short in-office sessions. Call us today and mention this ad and your initial consultation is free. We are Madison's trusted specialist and only national erectile dysfunction provider. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Start the new year off right with Menards Bag Sale. Pick up a bag in store and get 15% off everything you can fit in the bag now through January 15th. Whether you pack it, load it, stuff it, or stack it. From light bulbs to tools, snacks, and much more, fit it in the bag and save 15%. So pick up a bag in store and find out how much you fit in the bag now through January 15th. And welcome back. Now, we're going to take a peek at just a few of those temperatures, get another update here. And it does look like we are at 17 degrees still here in Madison, 21 in Camp Douglas. Watoma currently at 19 degrees, very consistent across the board, but it is consistently cold outside. So we do need to keep that in mind. It is about 10 degrees below average as of right now, and that's where we're going to lie for much of the rest of this week. A few days are going to be a little bit closer to average. Now, these wind speeds aren't going to nick, uh, uh, nick you off your feet. They're not going to knock you off. You're only looking at about 10 to 15 miles per hour for a lot of us. But what that really does is it just brings down those wind chills. Currently, zero degrees in Janesville, two below in Monroe and Platteville. And it does look like here as well, the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook shows that we're going to stay a little bit cooler than average to, uh, near the end of the forecast as well. Thank oh. you. We are waiting for Linda. She just texted me, said, please text me. So I don't know what's up. It's cold all over, apparently, right. except for South Florida. That's right. And how about this? Check it out. Even after that six to 10 day outlook, it's going to stay cold there. But also take a peek at this. The left side of your screen does show the warmer than average conditions. So if that pattern really does hold after about that eight to 14 day stretch, we can see a warm up, hopefully on the horizon. All right, I think Linda may be here. Linda, are you, Linda, are you here? I was having a problem, problem getting through. There you are. Here's Linda. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. All right, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, let's happy go, sunshine. Yeah, let's go to the phones. We'll start with Delbert from Richland Center. Hi, Delbert, what's your question? 
I have a major mole outbreak in my yard, and I want to know what how I can t- eliminate the problem. I got probably 20 moles in my yard, and they're just wrecking my yard. At this time of the year, you're seeing activity, or are you talking about last fall? Must be last fall. So moles, I think that the best way to deal with that is to trap them because um, sometimes if, if they have a lot of food source, an insecticide on the, on the turf might be um, work. But I actually think trapping them is a, is a better way. You stomp down on those, their major trails and then set up those traps where, where their major highways are, and then you, you can capture them and get rid of them that way. But they're not active this time of year. Not in Wisconsin, no, I don't think. <laughs> hibernating like we all should be. Yeah. All right, let's go to Nancy in Madison. Hi, Nancy, what's your question? My question, this fall I bought two new plants, uh, a calathea and a philodendron salem, I believe it's called. Both of them are dropping leaves. New growth comes in with withered tips, and I'm wondering if my house is too dry. Oh, I think that you might have nailed it, Nancy. Uh, when you move plants from a greenhouse into a, a heated home, especially if you like to keep it above 70 degrees, those plants are not going to be real tolerant of that. So a humidifier is a good idea. Some people do that whole idea of misting. I don't have the time for that, but it would, certainly wouldn't hurt. And then having pebbles with water underneath is another way to have a hu- higher humidity right for that little plant. So okay. s- spraying them would help? Spraying does help. I just don't have the... But then you have the issue of fungal diseases developing on some of those leaves. So I usually think a humidifier for the whole house, it benefits the plants and me. Okay. okay. Thanks for calling. Thank I th- you. I think we have a mold solution from Dave. Dave, go ahead. Um, on the mold situation, the molds are there because they like the grubs. And if you take a barn lime, a 50-pound bag, and spread it in about a 10 by 10 foot area, it will eliminate the grubs and the moles will go away just by sweetening the soil. Well, there you that's, have it. That's an interesting suggestion. I, if, we tend to have such a low pH in the Dane County area. We don't have acidic soils, but um, turf won't mind that. Some other plants might not let all that lime going on there. So I'm thinking in terms of the trees and the shrubs that are, that are in the vicinity, so if, if the lawn is a high pri- high priority, um, I've not heard of that. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, it's a chemical-free way of not putting chemicals on your lawn. Well, but if, if you think about it, that's a chemical also. If you're going to be altering pH, that's a chemical. Well, it's just one that is not seen as as um, manufactured. So sometimes that is why chemicals get a bad name. Yeah, alfalfa hay does very well in a sweet soil. So. Yes, okay. yes, 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 it does. You're right. <laughs> All right. I, All right, we have uh, time for one more. Let's go to Eloise from Blanchardville. Eloise, go ahead. Yes, I have a shamrock plant, and I've had it for years and years, and keep it in the same place. Now, all of a sudden, the edges of the leaves are turning brown. Um, I have looked. I don't see any. Okay, we got to go.